It's about uh, 4 o'clock or 16 hours and 7 minutes into the day of uh, June 6th. Yeah, it's second day, June 6th. Uh, and I'm, uh, <laughs> this is where the bizarre thing is. I was supposed to start today, at, uh, just a little while ago. Uh, but uh, there was construction in the area, and uh, I also had to answer some Twitters. Uh, around, I think it was around 10 o'clock this morning, 10, 10.30. Uh, so, yeah, my sleep wasn't as, as good as it, it could have been, but it was fine. So, yeah, we're going to get the day started. i um, going through my Twitter list, checking my emails, going to get all that stuff done. I have to go food shopping in about two and a half hours, so I'm going to try again to see if I can get, uh, if, if I have enough guts to, uh, Vlog a little bit the store. Holy oh, approaching the store, so we'll see what happens. Alright, take it easy. Well, it's just about uh, 6 o'clock or 18 hours into June 6th. Uh, I was watching uh, the video uh, from Cassandra's Nerds Are Out. And if you look on the page today, and just, just, just finished watching this, and it's her June 5th video uh, that she uploaded it today. I think the videos are always a day behind. And if you look at the counter, it's her thousandth video. And so she did a special video for her thousandth video. And I just finished watching it, and it was a pretty cool, a pretty cool video. I watched the whole thing, and. One, the reason why I talk about uh, Cassandra and Nerzerol so much is it was her channel, her vlog, that got me started and thinking that I could do Big Bang Theory or else. See, I'm, I'm, I'm a massive nerd. I, I, I'm, I know that about myself, and I'm all right with it. But... I didn't really know if a nerd like myself could go online and vlog, you know, be on, you know, be on YouTube. I mean, because, well, you know, I, did that, I just didn't think that stuff was done, you know, because, you know, who would want to watch me? But I needed a way to uh, get my research publishing, the, the research work that I'm doing, better known. And so I said, well, yeah, it could be interesting to do something like uh, Big Bang Theory, but do a real-life version. But I didn't really do a real-life version of it. But I really didn't know how to go about doing it. So I was just sort of stumbling around. And this was, I don't, see, I don't go out anywhere, really. Um, in Japanese, they have the term otaku. Uh, for those of you who know anime, who are, in, who are really nerds, who know the anime conventions, who know what an otaku is, uh, I'm one of those. Uh, my habits are bizarre. I'm really nerdy. Uh, my specialty is in uh, astrophysics. Uh, I've done a lot of work uh, from ast astrophysics. Uh, I've gone out and done work in cybernetics and cyborgs. That's why I have Cyborg Alpha. I really don't uh, like to put myself out there. I have a sort of a, a, a I don't know what it is, an impediment about sort of putting myself out there, so I was able to create a virtual present known as Cyborg Alpha. That's a cyborg that I'm building. And I'm comfortable doing that, but I'm not comfortable moving with myself out there. Uh, at least I wasn't more when I, before I had this, uh, my, my show, Big Bang Theory RL. So it was December 31st. I was looking around the internet, just sort of looking on YouTube and seeing what was out there. And I noticed, I came across this one, uh, video that said Nerds RL. 
So I washed it a lot, and, and, and then I washed it again. Matter of fact, I watched a couple times that, that day to see what she was doing, how she was doing. Then I looked at it, went to her channel, looked at her channel, see what she, how she did what she did, and realized that you know I could do something like this. That you know you just go out and be yourself, give people the behind the scenes look of what a, 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 a what a nerd does all day long. And so I said, well, yeah, I'm a bit like Sheldon Cooper. I'm a cross between Sheldon Cooper and uh, Le uh, Leonard Hofstetter. Le Leonard Hofstetter. Uh, my my uh, speech is off a little bit. And so, but those are the, so Leonard and how uh, yeah yeah Leonard and, and Sheldon. I'm a cross between those two uh, geeks on uh, Big Bang Theory. So I said, let me try this. But the thing is, is that. From well, all the stuff I had read, once I decided I wanted to do this, uh, it wasn't clear to me that uh, I could actually vlog from within Linux. So I said, okay, let me try this out. So I went on to YouTube with uh, my Linux system, with my Linux system in the back room. I started off in the back room. No, I started in the front room. I said, let me try this out and then see how this works, doing it in the front room uh, on the computer that had the web camera back there. So I did it, did the one test, deleted it, second test, deleted it, and finally when I got the third test going off of uh, YouTube's uh, web camera program that allows you to upload directly, it worked. And so that became the beginning of, uh, of Big Bang Theory on December 31st. And so now I'm, I'm basically, uh, and that's 2011, and so I'm where she's in her, two, her, the, the, her second year, I looked at her uh, her channel and went back to see when she started, and her first video is uh, dated September 4th, 2009. Uh, so that's just about two years. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's going into into the third year. It's going it's going to be three years uh, as of this September. So. Uh, I'm just six months into this. This is I'm only six months into the Big Bang Theory, and said, it, she really makes a difference in terms of say, is it, you know what? I can do this. I can go out and do that extra mile. And so I have to give Cassandra a lot of the credit for where I am today. And as a result of that, she's one of the featured channels on my page. That's the way. If you look on my page and you see uh, North Zorrell on the on my uh, go down to my. The, where I have my other channels, and on the top there, there's uh, Cassandra's Nerds RL, then there's Right and Proper Ladies, and then there's uh, one called Alicopter. Well, Cassandra was the first one, Nerds RL, and then Right and Proper Ladies and, and Alicopter were the, the second two people that I had really met on YouTube uh, once I had started Big Bang Theory RL. So Cassandra started it all, and then came uh, Right and Proper Ladies and uh, with the Alicopter in it. So that's sort of how everything got a, got going, and now I, I'm, I'm more established. I'm, there's still a lot more to do, but uh, I'm really happy where I am, and I'm happy that I was able to stumble across uh, Nerd Zarell, her channel, her vlog, and it, if it wasn't for that, I don't. I think I would have been still procrastinating, procrastinating, and sort of putting off when I started doing this work. So Cassandra. Congratulations for a thousand videos. Uh, I watched the whole thing, and I saw we are going away. Present for, uh, when you left home was uh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is one of my favorite cereals too, so <laughs> that was cool. And so I like to say congratulations. Uh, I'll see you every day on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Uh, today was the uh, so-so day. In terms of what was that, what I was able to get done, it's around four o'clock in the morning now, and uh, just sort of uh, getting things ready to, uh, to end the day. Probably about another hour or so left of the day, and then uh, just to bed for a bit. Um, yeah, it's just a I was in between different projects. Uh, I had to readjust certain things, certain projects. So everything I thought I was going to get done wasn't going to get done because other things needed to be done 
Like, I had to rewrite some of my notes. Uh, I produced another video back uh, in, the, uh, in the back room. And, uh, I still need to do some fixing up. Uh, it, it, I don't know, I think it, maybe it's just the room itself, the way the light comes out of the room. It's really, really, uh, kind of, uh, uh, <laughs> the color is dull, so I've got to sort of work on the quality of the video there. But, it does look like it's pretty much clear to produce the uh, the uh, adventures in the library series. Uh, uh, I was supposed to go to bed early. <laughs> well, it's uh, seven o'clock in the morning. This is one of the things that happened. Uh, I got stuck decoding some video problems. Uh, I should say debugging some video problems. I'm doing that now. Uh, but the amount of time you have to get through everything uh, really, in many ways, uh, pushes you for it. Is it, 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 it basically the amount of time spent trying to debug things and trying to find out where things have, have actually have actually gone have gone wrong? Uh, can actually lead you to spending hours, and the next thing you know, you while you were supposed to do one thing earlier, uh, everything else gets pushed aside. So a lot of other stuff has got pushed aside, including my sleep. And but I'm getting near the end of it, so that's going to add this a little bit here to uh, the end of the, of the segment. I know we were supposed to finish at four or five, but now it's seven, so. This is going to be a really bizarre uh, day today, sort of. It's 10.14 in the morning. Uh, I still haven't been able to sleep yet. I went to bed around just about 10 past 7. Uh, no luck, so I'm up again and I'm doing some work. Uh, I just did talking to on Twitter. Uh, this person, I don't really know who they are. Uh, they're with uh, Help Stop Cutting. And that's all one word. Help stop cutting. And on Twitter, and I do the video for them uh, about really about being a nerd. Uh, it's about, it, for me, it's it, it, uh, uh, I see all this stuff about cyberbullying and all these suicides. And most of the stuff I've seen about that is a, it, it focuses on someone being made fun of and and being teased in school. And the thing is, I went through this. I went through the same thing when I was younger. And the thought of of suicide never really caught, came into my mind. Uh, the thought of of uh, harming myself never caught, came to my mind. It was just a sort of a normal state that I that I was kind of in. So that was sort of I, I just sort of made the best of my life the the way I could. So that and that's how I did it, did it. That's and that's what I did. Uh, I mean, I'm still not the the, the suavest or the smooth. I, I'm still awkward when I talk. I'm still awkward on the videos. Uh, but that's okay. And if you can get to that point where you're okay with yourself, then the need to hurt yourself goes away. Or if it's a, it is no longer present. Because, you know, I, when I was okay with myself, then, it was, then there, there was no particular issue. And I just wish that, you know, this isn't about giving money or anything like that. I'm not going to be asking for money at any point in time. That, uh, you know, the people, when they, when kids, when they're feeling like this, need to understand they're not alone. So, 
I'm trying to uh, build more awareness, uh, not necessarily awareness, awareness not about the cyberbullying, but I'm aiming at the people who feel cyberbullied the boat, uh, and, and feel left out of society. And these are the cutters and the, you know, that they're not alone, that they have a place to come. And there are people who've gone through the same thing that they've gone and, sur and survived it. So, you know, I hope more people can get to this and that we can stop, you know, next time someone feels like, you know, hurting themselves, that uh, we could talk it through and they won't hurt themselves anymore. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to relax. Relax a little bit. Let's see if I can actually get to bed. But I don't know how successful it's going to be. Uh, it's getting close to 11 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we're on another 48-hour uh, day. 48-plus-hour <laughs> day. Uh, sometimes this is what happens. Uh, uh, it wasn't intentional. It, I didn't really intend to do the 48-hour-plus day. It is, I just couldn't sleep. Uh, I was supposed to rest and relax after I came back from dinner from my parents. But, uh, that's not actually going to happen. So I'm still up, I'm still doing some work. And we're going to push on through until like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, so... Anyway... Having fun. Uh, it's, uh, 2.30 in the morning. It's, uh... It's, it's uh, June 8th. Yeah, one very, very long day. Uh, I'm back watching my documentaries again. Uh, I always, uh, I, I started off with PBS documentaries way before I was a scientist, and now I still enjoy PBS documentaries. One of my favorite uh, producers is David Attenborough. He's one of the, oh, for me, uh, he's one of the better ones. And I notice there's a huge difference between uh, what you see on Discovery Channel and what was before. Most of the people who get, or the younger people coming up today who haven't didn't know what uh, uh, P P uh, PBS was before, uh, basically before 1990, uh, really are missing out because it does around 1990 a lot of the documentaries were changed and a lot of the information was literally pulled out of them and instead of having a documentary which really showed you a lot of information, a lot of good stuff that you could learn, what you had was infotainment. And it became more about entertainment than anything else. And the amount of errors that sort of popped into this uh, is actually kind of visible when you go back to the older type of documentaries, uh, some of which were still coming out of England. Uh, and you compare it to the sub book. The stuff being produced by uh, Discovery Channel, which is the main producer of documentaries now, that, we, that most people see, uh, the quality is is significantly less than it was before. Uh, there is a huge difference in quality. So this is, uh, you know, back to work, uh, moving forward with my documentary, learning, watching what the, these uh, people like David Attenborough did. Uh, looking at uh, other people who are doing documentaries and really trying to put together a good uh, channel uh, uh, physics TV that really brings back the old style of uh, documentary with, that's not infotainment, that, uh, that is really, really brings out uh, things that are different. So, we'll see what happens and right now uh, I'm just going through my stuff, make myself a little something to eat and we'll go from there. Alright, I'll check back in with you maybe a little time after, maybe, maybe around 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. <laughs> it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, a little past 4 o'clock in the morning, anyways. It's always ish with me. I never do things exa exact, so. I mean, do you really care that it's a few minutes past 4? <laughs> so. Anyways, uh, ending up the week, going into the cleanup weekend. Weekends are usually for cleaning up, assessing what I've done during the week, and thinking about what I'm going to do starting Monday.
see what I can lay out for the rest of the week. Uh, gonna reset my gonna reset my shooting schedule tomorrow. That's one thing that has to be done tomorrow. Is reset, reset the shooting schedule. Uh, and then from there, um, I'm planning to go do some uh, filming, some test shots. I want to try to do some night videos outside. So we'll see how that comes up, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I'll, post, I'll post those inside a big uh, inside uh, the the, the uh, commas plus here uh, as I as I do them, so you can see what they look like, and you can give me your feedback, you see what you think. The goal is eventually is to to do uh, some night shots outside uh, of different wildlife. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I might go to a place around me here that has it's fairly it's it's fairly wild uh not really well it's wilderness and it's not that it's wild in terms of you know but it's sufficient for what we need and when I had gone there before uh it has some pretty interesting uh animals there uh so that's about it for tonight I think uh Gonna be shutting down about a half hour, 45 minutes. Me, anyways. And then going, uh, I'll probably get up tomorrow around noon and start all over again. Alright. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.